This weight loss journey is mental more than anything. And I just want to drop some wisdom because I've been really listening to a lot of Buddhist teachings lately, and it's really letting me resonate with a lot of things. Um, if you're new here, welcome. I made this transformation on my weight loss journey, and it has been a challenge, a big challenge. I lost the majority of my weight eating a one meal a day fasting schedule. But to be honest, the truth for me when it comes to losing weight has been eating a keto diet. And that's because the keto diet puts you in a state that is low blood sugar. I've also thrown in extended fasts on my weight loss journey, but the key to losing weight, not the key I'm going to talk about, but we all know the key to losing weight is nutrition and to help keep your nutrition in check. That key is putting your body in a low blood sugar state. And you can do that with carbs or without carbs. Obviously, it's easier to do it without carbs, but there's ways you can eat to help stabilize your blood sugar, like stuffing your face with vegetables, eating your fiber first, eating your vegetables first, and then going for the protein next, and then the starches and all the other carbohydrates last, minus fiber. I think a lot of people talk about how to actually lose weight, but a lot of people don't talk about the mental attributes it takes to lose weight. And the key to losing weight is this. I'm gonna talk about a number of keys, but this is probably the most important key. It is patience. So many people in this day and age lack patience. With social media, with the way our lives are, everyone wants instant gratification but instant gratification does not get you results. Instant gratification just helps you succumb that temporary feeling from now, but sacrificing the greater good in the future. So patience is key on your weight loss journey. Patience with yourself, because you're gonna struggle, you're gonna fail. But what people don't understand is, during that struggle and that failure, you have to dig deep and get through it. Once you get through that hump, maybe one time or a couple of times, it gets easier. Why? Because you get stronger. You have to be patient with yourself. You have to be patient with yourself in terms of getting into a routine. You have to be patient with yourself in trying to figure out what diet works for you. Patience is key on this journey. You also have to be patient with yourself in terms of seeing results. Yes, you can get results quickly with certain diets, but that still takes a lot of patience. You're not gonna get it instantly. It still takes time to get used to things. So I want people to understand that patience is key. It is key. Obviously nutrition is key, but being patient with the journey, being patient with being in that deficit, being patient with using the metabolic switch and using diets to help stabilize your blood sugar, being patient with your body while it's transforming from being completely destroyed and out of whack due to the foods we've been eating, due to glucose spikes, due to excess insulin, due to the garbage food we've been eating. You have to be patient with yourself. With that, it's going to take your body some time physiologically to adapt, depending on what diet you're doing. But if you're going, you're jumping yourself into a fast, Things will change relatively quickly. However, it's the habits after the fast where you need to iron down. It's going to take time to learn how to eat throughout the day and not overeat. And right now with eating throughout the day with me, as you guys know, I've transitioned off of one meal a day, still doing one meal a day here and there. I'm actually doing one meal a day tomorrow. But today, um, the way I'm able to do that is that I'm learning how to eat light throughout the day. My meals are in the 300 calorie range and I have a meal before I work out. I have a meal after I work out and then I kind of delay my cal calories for later on in the day. Kind of still using the same concepts of one meal a day, except I'm eating a little bit of my calories in the morning. Why? It puts me in a situation where that if I eat too much, earlier on in the day, then I risk overeating at night. So it's best to put yourself in a position for success. Right now, it's almost, it is six o'clock, it's 6, 11 p.m. And I still have 600 calories left. And guess what? I'm not hungry. I'm still satisfied from my last meal, which was a delicious, delicious ground bison Caesar salad. <laughs> I absolutely, and I'm still full from it. All I wanna do is drink water. So you gotta be patient with yourself in that 
aspect. So try this if you are struggling. I would suggest doing 300 calorie meals at a time. If you're doing one meal a day, keep at it. If you're struggling with one meal a day, maybe it's not the diet for you right now. You also have to have discernment on this journey. And also another key to weight loss obviously is being consistent, but you have to be patient with yourself as you're going through the transition of being consistent. One of the best tips I can give to you is where focus goes, energy flows. Focus on what you need to work on. For most of us, it's nutrition. If you put your mindset in a state where you're like, I'm gonna figure out this nutrition thing no matter what, I'm gonna get back up every time I fall, I'm gonna find a way to be consistent. If you make up your mind and you're determined, you will find a way to make it happen. Just like how I was determined. I was like, enough is enough. I've been through so much on my journey with the car accident, with all these injuries. The best thing I can do for myself is find that discipline within and be consistent. And I have been consistent for a good solid week and I'm so proud of myself. Just picking a calorie number and being consistent with it and the scale is finally moving in the right direction. And I'm currently doing a keto diet because for me personally, doing a keto diet with tons of vegetables, mind you, lots of vegetables, helps to keep my hunger at bay, helps to keep me stabilized. And I'm also carb cycling as well. However, we'll get into that in another video. But for anyone who's struggling and losing weight, I suggest eating your food in a way that will keep your blood sugar low. There is the food order hack that I've talked about. This is from the Glucose Goddess, basically eating your vegetables first or throwing in some apple cider vinegar before you eat. Another key thing is to get in those electrolytes. Right now I'm drinking Element. I'm actually gonna go have some Element mixed with Crystal Light and learning how to satisfy those cravings when they do come up. Right now, I don't have any cravings. Cravings usually come around, you know, that week before my cycle, that lovely week before our cycle that we always like. But anyway, I just wanted to throw that out there. Patience is key. Patience is key. You have to be patient with yourself. You have to learn how to train your mind to be in a state of delayed gratification. So if you focus on that, you know, watch Buddhist teachings. I've been watching Buddhist teachings online. You don't have to be a Buddhist, but a lot of psychology comes from Buddhism. Meditation comes from Buddhism. So, or just find whatever works for you. Find something that will keep you focused on that mental level and that spiritual level to understand how you have to get through this. Because you can get through this. I believe this weight loss journey is a spiritual journey because you are fighting so many demons to get through it. Anyway, if you made it this far into the video, just drop in the word patience. And I'm sending you guys mad love. Take care. Bye.